Good morning, bonjour, hello. Three languages. I think those are all the ones that I can do. Buongiorno. I'm sure there's more that I should know, but I don't right now. Um, I'm just going to give everybody a moment to settle in, to come hop on the stream so you don't miss anything. Oh, and my, my camera is making me blurry. Why? Here's a, just give me a little hello or a thumbs up, a little emoji, grab a coffee, cup of tea, some water. And um, I hope that you're going to find a moment to be here with me, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or wherever. Zell is here. Hi. And yeah, feel free to comment throughout the whole video because I do enjoy talking with you. Last week, that was a little strange because like, I was talking at myself the whole time. And I do appreciate the back and forth with the Mimi Makers. Uh, it is one of the highlights of my week to talk to all of you, to check in, how you doing? What are you sewing? What are you knitting? What are you making? I love to hear all of the things. And of course, I want to show off all of the pretty things that we're bringing tomorrow on Friday. So, you know, all of our new Products always release on Friday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, including the beauties that I am about to show you. Who is excited? Thumbs up if you are excited. And just nothing if you're indifferent. All right, Erica is putting food away and she's crocheting a pacifier clip. That's exciting. All right. So I'm going to get started uh, on these beauties that we have this week. So you may or may not have seen and taken a little peek that we got a Christmas collection cottons in, which are my personal favorite. Um, they are by Rifle Paper. They're Holiday Classics 1 and 2. I just listed them under Holiday Classics because they all go together and they're all really, really beautiful. Like, And I cannot never say no to a good Christmas fabric. I am. I am a sucker for anything Christmas. I just love the Christmas spirit. There's, that's just me casually putting the extra threads away. <laughs> I feel like I couldn't hide that. Anyways, you know how it is with newly made things. There's still a couple of things <laughs> hanging off uh, here and there. But so anyways, I can never say no to a good holiday fabric because I just like all the decorations and I like the holiday spirit and just everything about it. Love the decorations, love the colors, love the sparkle, all of the things. Uh, and I think almost all of these are actually metallic prints, which I really like because I really like sparkly things. All right, number one. And I just tried to grab like one of like each of the designs because there's so many and they're really heavy. So some of these come in multiple colors with different backgrounds. I'm a sucker for Xmas too. My favorite sewing is the family PJ. That is a, anybody else sewing family PJs? I feel like I didn't do that last year. And then I felt really bad about it because it is one of my favorite things too. It's like every year to sew like a collective PJ collection. I, I do really like that. So anybody else doing that? Jasmine's here. Hi, Jasmine. All right, back to the cottons. So there's this one with the little presents on it and then some of the bows are in a gold metallic and it says for you on the tags and i love the colors on it because it has the green the red the gold some blue but it also has a little bit of pink in it which you know i really like and i think there's three colors of this so this is the blue background i think there's a cream one and i feel like there was another one or maybe there's just two there's so many i may have lost track of it and this is a cotton so it's going to be great for any quilty thing. It's going to be great for a dress too. If you do so um, little ruffly dresses, I think this would be so cute. It would make a really cute ruffly skirt or even a shirt. I might have to make myself a Christmas blouse out of something like this. Um, bags, gift bags. You know, we like sewing our gift gift bags every year. I do make new ones every year because... I feel like at the end of the holidays, I do not end up with all of the bags that I sold, but that's okay. I just always hope that they do get reused. 
Another one in this collection is probably, uh, there's two that are my, well, I, I, I keep saying they're all my personal favorites, but they are. I'm a sucker for the Nutcracker. I love the Nutcracker. I have yet to see the actual ballet. It's uh, one of my goals in life is one year, I'm gonna see the Nutcracker ballet. I feel like nobody in my family wants to go with me. There, sometimes I feel like I live with Grinches. I'm sure that some of you understand that. So maybe one day somebody will take me to a nutcracker, hint, hint, to people. Maybe somebody wants to go with me. I would love to. Anyway, so this is the nutcracker print. So we have the nutcracker king on here. I think it's this guy. And then we have uh, some mistletoes and candies and bells. Uh, and again, some gold elements on this one. And we have the Christmas lights. Can never forget about the Christmas lights. And again, so the lights here, those accents are all in gold. And then the um, the cable is also printed in gold. And there's two, again, two or three colors of this. So this is the blue. I know that there's a cream and now I forgot if there is a third one. Um, then there's another nutcracker, which is, this is one of my all time favorites because I do have the cup of this. There is a store in Ottawa that was selling this print printed on mugs. And I bought all of them last year because they are my holiday spirit mugs that I drink my tea in all the time because I like everything rifle paper and uh, the nutcracker. So if I see anything with this print on it, I will definitely have it. I even have a little pendant with the nutcracker. So I'm hoping that the jewelry company that I bought my nutcracker pendant from, maybe they'll come up with the sugar plum fairy. Because I really like the, I like the sugar plum fairy theme. It may be my ringtone on my phone. Okay, all, like, I'm going to stop raving about the Nutcracker now, but you get it. So this one does have the sugar plum fairy on it. Um, I think so. Might be, I think. Oh, they have a couple of the ballet ladies. So it might not be the sugar plum fairy. I actually don't see her. Um, anyways, would be nice to have her on there, just like a little suggestion. And then there's, uh, but there's uh, Clara right on there, and Drossel Myers on here, and the Mouse King, and the Nutcracker King. So they're all on there, and again, lots of golden elements on this one as well. And then some matchy matchies is this Golden Snowflakes. Um, so it has a black background, uh, and lots of golden snowflakes on it. This one also comes in a red. Uh, and then this one, also from this collection, from the Holiday Classics, is the stamps. So I know that they have another stamp collection, but this one particularly is the Christmas stamp. So if you take a closer look, you have, uh, you have uh, I just saw them here, you have the, uh, the Nutcracker on here, then you have a Christmas wreath, you have some reindeer, and uh, it actually, I did like that there's multiple languages on there. So there's first class postage here. Then there's mit Luftpost. So it has the German uh, Luftpost airmail um, sticker on there. And there's the French, the Paravion as well. And here there's an airmail sticker. So I really like this one as well. Um, maybe for some relatives that or friends that might not be able to be with you at Christmas. It might be nice to wrap it in something like this or make them a little little present, maybe a little pouch. Um, definitely a good uh, time is to look at our, if you look at our YouTube tutorials, there's a tutorial we did last year on how to make a, um, a notebook pouch, you know, with like an elastic and, um, and a, a zipper. It's a really easy tutorial. And I think that's always a great gift that I also give to teachers and friends. I buy a little notebook and then I make those notebook pouches out of a nice fabric that I have. And that might be a good um, little giveaway. You can watch the ballet online. All right. Well, I will definitely look at that as well. I definitely would watch it online as well, but I really do want to see it in person as well someday. Um, all right. Uh, next up, there's like a whole collection. So this is also from the Holiday Classics, but I think it's the Holiday Classics 2. And there's, I think, at least five prints of the poinsettia. So this is the individual poinsettias on the uh, cream background, and they are like an orangey red uh, and the greens, and then there's lots of gold on it. So really um, the traditional colors, but I do like that it has a modern 
uh, take on it just because of the rifle paper aesthetics. There's also some ice blue ones. Then we have the poinsettia bouquets. They're all absolutely beautiful. And I think they would make some really nice Christmas tree skirts as well, which I am going to attempt this year as well. And I think this one would be a good um, solid. So these solids, we have connected them as matching solids or near solids, I should say. Um, there's this red, which is not really, it's like an orangey red. Let me see if it says what color that is. Well, it's color number 23. I do put the color numbers in the name, but it does have a name. I just forget what the name is. But so this will actually match with all of them because the red in them is more of this, um, this tomato, like bright tomato red, rather than a um, super saturated deep red. So this is a great one to combine with it then this is also absolutely gorgeous have you seen this so this has a little um little uh snowy town so we have uh, the, a little couple buildings then you have uh these people doing some um ice skating this guy is just cutting his tree i think it's a guy a person this person uh and then there's also a ski hill look at that there's a little ski hill and all of these things there's a barn there's a red truck with a with a tree there's lots of little details i feel like my children will appreciate something like this especially since there's a lot of details i do have a seven-year-old that believe it or not loves button-up shirts because he likes to look business i don't know he wants to be a business person someday and he thinks you need a button-up shirt for that and i think that is really uh really a nice sentiment so maybe he's going to get a christmas shirt out of this just because it has all of the things on it that he would enjoy and then there's this print very special very um very royal very i really like it so if you if you don't have too many colors in your uh in your holiday collection or you just want to make it look festive but not have the um the theme with all the you know, holiday characters, then I think this is a really good choice um, because it is a cream fabric with a gold floral print, which I think can even go into other seasons. So now I want to show you all of these near solids that we have. I mean, the freckles are always my favorite and you know that like freckles. I love the freckles. These are all gold print freckles um, that are matching to the holiday classics collection or any of the holiday ones. So this tomato red number 23 then there's a black number 18 i hope that it's black might also be a really dark blue but it matches it's part of the collection i promise you so number 18 freckles then this really beautiful forest green which again matches all of the holiday classics uh color number 24 and then this off white which is color number 17 and also with the golden freckles on it and then I have two new grunge that are also part of this collection or paired with this collection. Also a more orangey red with some uh, pink staining in there. And this ochre or golden yellow uh, with uh, different hues of the gold and like a little bit of green in it. So these two, uh, this, the golden one is color 282 in the grunge collection and the red is number 29, not 29, 290 in the grunge collection i just want to show you how well these all work so depending on which aesthetic you prefer all of these will work perfectly together how did you get a hands on this rifle paper i've made so many quilts from the holiday classic they were big hits yes i did like believe it or not i ordered this probably a year ago just to make sure that i get my hands on this so i have every single print from this collection. Actually, that's not true. There is a tree print, I think, in that collection that I didn't get my hands on, but we got almost all of them. So I'm I'm super, super happy because it is my absolute favorite collection from them. And I have made a couple of uh, earmarks here with my little swatch of patterns that uh, I'm considering making. Because uh, I do, you know, I don't make a, a lot of quilts, but because I like christmas so much i feel like i would really like to own a christmas quilt that i can have on my couch and then like on my i have like this little knitting spot 
um, that's my chair that's next to the fireplace and I feel like it needs a quilt so that I can sit there in winter when it gets cold with my little rifle paper cup uh, and my knitting project. I think it sounds pretty magical. I mean, we all know that uh, the way to get there might be a little bit tricky, but I think I shall try. All right, there's this one, which I really like. It is the Boxes and Bow Quilt um, by Basic Gray Sewing Patterns. So I think this would be a really nice one. Make little presents out of all of these. Um, so if any of you uh, would like to try these as well, I'm more than happy to help you pull something together. So this one requires a whole bunch of fabric. So I'm more than happy to put something together for you. Uh, just shoot us an email or come to the store. We're actually open this Saturday. So if you wanted to mix and match things, that would be a good opportunity. Then I also looked at the Peace and Love 11 Fun and Easy to Sew quilt because we all like easy to sew because sometimes there are time constraints. And I found this one, it's the Nordic Frost. So it's called the Nordic Frost quilt. And look how pretty this is. I really, really like this. So you could do a background in the white freckles, for example, and then have, I think you need four, let me see. You need four darker fabrics. So you could choose any of these four. So you could do the stamps and one of the nutcrackers and maybe one just with the stars and uh, another one um, to make the snowflake. And they're mostly half square triangles, I think. If I look at this, yeah, they're flying geese. Um, pretty simple piecing. So I think this is very attainable. So I think this is one that you mark for myself. You can also do it the other way around. So if you want more of the nutcrackers, you could do the nutcrackers in the background here and then choose the lighter prints as your snowflake because there are um, there are some lighter colored, like the Christmas lights with the, with the cream colored background, like that would look really nice as well. And again, more than happy to put something together for you if uh, you need some help. And then there's also this one. So I don't know how to decide. So this one, also pretty simple, also all um, half square triangles, and you can just mix and match any of them, really any of them. You just need one solid background that is contrasting to the colors that you're picking. So if you do the dark colors uh, on the as the tree, you can just throw them together whichever way you like, uh, and then a lighter background in the back. And it doesn't have to be white. It can also be something else. It could even be the the red to make it really festive or even the green um, to make it, or the yellow, whichever way you like. So I think all of these would really like. I really like the Nordic one mainly because it would go for the whole winter and even you'd have it out all year. It's not too holiday themed. The presence is very much Xmas. And where would you store it during the rest of the year? Very fair point. Um, that's, uh, I haven't thought of it that way. But I, I just think I like the elegant simplicity of it as well. The Nordic world. Here's another picture of it. And again, it's part of this book, which we also have at the store. I think we still have two copies of this, of the Peace and Love. And there's lots of really easy but very impactful quilts in there. All right. So all of these very pretty. So these are the three that I'm debating between making. So this was the cotton collection. Now we're getting to the other cozy things that are coming. I don't know if you look, but there are some. Is your sweater a pattern? I love the neckline. Yes, Diane, it is. I'm going to get to it in a moment because it is actually part of the preview of what's coming tomorrow. So just give me one moment. Stay on the line and I will tell you more about it. Um, so one of the one of the things that is finally releasing tomorrow is our Sherpa. This is a Sherpa. I think we had this collection in two years ago. The one from last year was from a different supplier. Uh, and we uh, finally, this supplier got their Sherpas back. And I really, really love the subtlety of their colors. Um, and it is a knit. So on the back, you would see that it is, you can see that it's a knitted fabric. And then on this side, you have your fluffy Sherpa fleece. So it's not super stretchy. I want to say it has about 20% of stretch. So this is great for the Alex zip up hoodie, for example, it's great for all of your lining needs. So if you want to line a, a hat, 
um, even just on the brim, if you want to align little baby booties, if you want to make it as the back of your quilt, because this is cotton, I think it's 80, I don't want to lie, let's see, 80% cotton, 20% polyester, how cozy would this be as aligning the other side of your quilt? I think I might have to do that just because I'm always really cold and I need something really warm and this would be very, very snuggly. Uh, I just brought one of these bolts out because look how massive these are. There's a whole bunch of colors. There's this beautiful gray. It's like a bluish gray. Then there is a um, ice blue. There's a pale pink. There's a rose. Uh, there for, and of course, there's a white. You might see that there are um, two whites listed. So one white is nice and crisp and bright white. And the other white was not so lucky. Uh, that packaging broke during transport. So it got dirty on this side of the bolt and it got dirty on this side of the bolt so we are listing it at uh, five dollars a half meter um, because it still deserves a home so there will be staining around where the fabric is folded and there's staining around here and i cannot guarantee that th that will come out but everything here is still fine so it's still great to use um maybe not as a quilt backing but definitely for linings you will be able to get um great pieces out of it. So those are the two different ones that we have listed. Now, to get to the sweater that I am wearing, which is made out of the Lotta Viscose sweater knit that is listing tomorrow. And it's really soft. Can you see how like drapey and soft that is? It's really nice. So I'm wearing the teal color um, and it is brushed on one side. So it's a little bit fluffy on this side. So I'm, uh, you know, sorry for showing it like this so, and it is a so this top is a raglan sleeve and it has a really nice tucked in neckline and the front and the back are pretty much the same so you can't put it on the wrong way i do suggest though with this uh batman pattern especially when you're doing it out of a viscose knit like this one um to size down because viscose is way more stretchy than your cottons uh or cotton based uh knits so it does stretch out more um, so this one was a size 12 and excuse me, uh, I do have a confession to make. I did not sew this. He saw I made this for herself and then realized that she's a little too petite for this size. So lucky me being a whole foot taller than her. I have now inherited this. Um, and so I do suggest sizing down um for this so that it doesn't look too oversized on you i mean i do like an oversized look but his size is a quite petite person if you've ever seen us next to each other you know what i mean so basically this would be a tent on her because i'm that much bigger all right so this is the pattern it is the romi by jali and there's the long version which is what i'm wearing and there's a short version and there's a kid's version and it's really beautiful. It's, his size says it's a really quick sew. Um, and it's uh, it's really cozy. You definitely want one of these in your wardrobe. And I do like that this fabric is really warm. It might be actually too warm right now still for me because in here it's quite, maybe it's the lights. Um, but considering how lightweight it is, like the amount of warmth I get from this is crazy because I'm I'm always cold. So this is perfect. For me, uh, another two patterns I want to suggest is the Charlotte cardigan. So if you want like a little cardigan that you can wear with your skirts or dresses or like even just like a nice blouse uh, in the winter, I think this would be a really nice cardigan. And again, same rule applies. I would size down by one size for this fabric. And if you want a whole outfit, this one would also look really stunning. Something like this, the Appleton Appleton dress by Cashmeret, which is a wrap dress for fall with boots. I think this would be absolutely stunning. Um, so these are my three recommendations. I'm sure there's others out there. And now I promise to show you all the beautiful colors of this. I swear, if you come to the shop on Saturday, because Saturday is our open house, uh, 260 Terrence Matthews Crescent, Unit 102. Um, if you touch this, you're not going to be able to walk away from it. If you have made an order within the last one or two weeks, you might even have received a swatch from us for this. It would have been a light uh, rust swatch. Look at this. It is just so cozy. And look at the stretch of this. It has a ton of stretch and recovery. 
um, but as I said, size one size down when sewing with this fabric. Um, then there's this uh, taupey gray, so it's like a dark taupe. Oh my God, I just wanna, maybe I'll make this, can I make this as the back of my quilt? Just because it is so cozy. It is so nice, but I know it's a knit. It might, that might not work, but um, I just wanna wrap myself in this. All right, taupe. And then of course there's the teal that I'm wearing. And I did want to mention also that there is a ribbing. If you do make a pattern that requires ribbing, there are matching ribbings to all five of them. And uh, if you don't need it for that, these ribbings are still amazing colors. So you'll be able to use them for other projects as well. We did connect them to the project, uh, to the fabrics. I think we might have to double check that we did. Um, but I think I did connect uh, both of them together so that you can find these matching colors. If you're, again, if you ever have any issues, just email us or message us on Facebook and um, we'll be able to help you out. Two more colors to come. There is the, uh, the rust color, which is the swatch that we have sent out. Um, is this fabric thick enough or would it show all the bumps in a more body fitting dress? I'm going to go with it depends. It definitely doesn't show the bumps like a modal jersey would, but it um, it is not super thick. So I do think it, uh, it it will look really nice in a body fitting dress, but it doesn't have slimming qualities. Like it's not a uh, it's not like a ponty that has like that will you know kind of cinch you. This one will stretch out with your body, but it also doesn't show off like a bamboo jersey or a modal jersey would. Like it is definitely thicker than that. Maybe a throw blanket with a jersey binding. That'd be nice as well. All these great ideas. Like I just, yeah, I just want to snuggle this all the time. It's so beautiful. And then last but not least, another super hot color, which I think you're going to have fast, have to have fast fingers for, because I feel like his eye might uh, want to try her hand again and she might take some of this home so this purple is like a really nice rich like aubergine type purple um you know just the perfect balance of blue and red in this one is really really gorgeous and again look at the stretch look at the stretch of this and the drapes so this will make a really really nice dress that also has if you have something that has a, a bit of a, that requires that, um, that drape, as you can see in my top, it's just really nice that this is not boxy, right? It's, uh, I think it was the perfect choice for this pattern just because of the movement in this fabric. So highly recommend this. Um, I did wanna show one more thing today. If you have, if you're not part of our knitting group, our Mimi Fabrics Knitting on Facebook or Mimi Fabrics Knitting on Instagram, I still want to show this off because I thought this was um, super nice. So there's a pair of socks that I was wearing yesterday. Let me see if I can um, share my screen here. Share screen. Um, a window. Can I show a window or entire screen? I'll show. Goodness. Does it let me? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try this and then show this. Do you see this? No, you don't. Stop sharing. That is not what I wanted to show you. Darn it. I really, really wanted to show you this. Show and tell, present. Let me see, I'll try one more time. Slides. Hmm, I should have tried. I do, I've done this before and now I don't remember how this goes. Share screen, select a tab to share. Oh, there you go. This is what I wanted to show you. You know, these socks, we all probably have these socks in our uh, wardrobe. So I have a pair of these socks, not hand knitted, just cotton socks. And um, I love them, but my feet were actually cold. I was wearing them with my, with my boots and my feet were actually cold. So I'm like, why don't I just knit a pair? Um, so I found some perfect colors here of the uh, Regia yarns. So the Regia classic colors. Oh goodness, why is my camera? My camera is not. All right, there's these three colors. Like how nice will these look? This is a nice light heather gray 
This is the light heather gray color 1991. Uh, and then the natural white or off white color 1992. Uh, and then there was a debate about which red is better. So this is the bright red color 2054. And this is the cherry red. I think both of them will work. I don't even know if you can see the difference here. So this is definitely a little bit lighter. Um, and this is a little bit darker. Both of them will work depending on what your preference is. So both of these will look really nice. So I am going to knit myself one of these cabin socks and I think they're gonna be really, really nice um, and cute. So you do know, like if you don't know that we do carry yarns uh, now, definitely do take a look. We have started listing some of the Lana Grassa yarns, which are coming soon. They're still on the way, but you can already browse all of the different kinds, not all of them, I'm still working on them. So every day I'm gonna be listing more of them and you can browse um, all of the yarns already maybe um, make notes in your wish list. Um, there will also be patterns available specifically designed for those yarns if you uh, wish to browse those. So we're working on that, um, that you can preview that and you can always um, ask us questions if you have any. So, um, all right, well, tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when all of these pretties are gonna be available for you to shop online. Uh, they'll be available in the store. And um, I hope that you can come this Saturday, tell your friends, bring a friend, maybe just hang out. We're open from nine to five on Saturday. Uh, Tanya is saying, show us. I did show them two weeks ago, but I will definitely, um, as of next week, I'll try to showcase one of, each, one of each of these yarns and some patterns that are coming with it just so that you can already make some plans um, so that when it does arrive, you can just hit the ground running and get knitting. Um, I might have my sample almost done by then so that I can show you. Oh, are Saturday sewing spots filled yet? We uh, we have not done the Saturday sewing this week just because, um, because you know, sickness, kids, first, uh, first month of school. So unfortunately we have not been organized enough to do that, but I hope that we'll be able to bring it back for next week. I'm so sorry, Amanda. Um, I still hope that you're gonna come by and hang out and um, we'll see you there. Bye for now, thanks for watching.